name is Nina Holland. I'm from Corporate Europe Observatory. Uh, we are an organization uh, based in Brussels and we have been uh, campaigning uh, on the issue of soy, GMOs, for some years. And uh, part of that is, is, to, um, is that we are opposing the roundtable on responsible soy uh, that is led by uh, WWF. Well, they started the roundtable on responsible soy in 2005 together with the uh, Swiss supermarket. Uh, from the beginning it has been clear that uh, genetically modified soy, uh, so Roundup Ready soy, will be included in that label as responsible, which we find uh, very problematic. Um, today we did this action because um, in one week time there will, have, there will be an international conference in Brazil of the RTRS. There they will decide on their criteria, so what is responsible soy. Uh, it doesn't look good. Result. The criteria will be very weak. In addition, it will not stop the soy expansion, so it will only increase the problems while the companies that are sitting at the table can benefit from the responsible label, from the green image that the, the Panda logo will provide uh, to them. And uh, so they have one week more to, uh, to withdraw from this round table, and that is what we are demanding. So we have been sending them the demands by email, uh, by post, uh, international declarations signed by many organizations. Uh, they've always responded in the same way, in a very evasive way, saying that they are opposed to GMOs, but on the other hand find it too important to take part in this round table and therefore label Roundup Ready Soy as responsible, which we find completely uh, contradictory. And that's what we came to tell uh, here today, is that we find it, uh, yeah, an embarrassment for uh, a conservation organization, what they claim they are, to be uh, uh, in association with uh, Monsanto, Syngenta, Cargill, ADM, uh, and the whole rest of it that are causing so much damage in countries like Paraguay and Argentina. So we fo thought it was uh, high time to, to pay them a visit and to put our demands uh, personally into their hands. So that's what we came to Us. It's mainly uh, the, the rural population and peasant movements in the south that are uh, suffering of the soy expansion. It's being grown on millions and millions of hectares in Argentina, Paraguay, Brazil. And it's uh, displacing not only nature, but also small farming systems. So people, rural communities, are getting enclosed by Roundup Ready soy fields, on which so much pesticides are being used that it affects their health and their fields. Uh, soy farmers use all kinds of methods to eventually buy up their land or take their land in some other way. So basically what you see is empty schools, empty villages and later a soy field uh, covering it. And that's what's happening in, uh, in large parts of Argentina, in Paraguay and uh, Brazil. So that's uh, why we are opposed to Roundup Ready Soy. Yeah, the problem yeah. is that companies can on, on the existing fields that are already cut, they can grow responsible soy. They can continue at the same time, or the banks that are involved, they can invest in continued soy expansion in other regions, where maybe the soy cannot be labeled responsible, but there will always be a market for not responsible soy as well. So uh, the companies can benefit from both sides. They can benefit from the responsible soy market, and they can benefit from the non-responsible soy market. So in the end, you're not forcing them to really change anything. I think we... Uh, brought the message directly to all the personnel of WWF. I think that so far uh, hasn't really happened. Uh, we have written to board members, we have written to um, the responsible campaigners, the director, uh, but I think now the whole of WWF is aware that, uh, that, there, that there are people that find this really uh, a problem 
and that there's international resistance to, uh, to this initiative. So I think that we have achieved. I think we have built up uh, the criticism, the pressure, the visibility of this problem. And, uh, and that is what we came, came here to do. Well, I think this is, uh, I think, indirectly a promotion of other types of actions like fighting the factory farming, fighting the big pig farms, the big importers of soy, uh, rather than uh, working on a responsible label for, uh, for this soy. I think for the large audience, um, it makes them at least aware that responsible soy is not responsible. And I think that is, uh, and, th and therefore not worth by uh, giving a premium price for. And I think that is, uh, that is what is really important, that people are aware that these kind of greenwashing initiatives exist. Well, if they are, for example, donating to WWF, they can phone them up and complain. Mm -hmm. And say, uh, I'm supporting your organization, why are you, why are you supporting Roundup Ready Soy? That's one thing they can do, which will be very effective. I think uh, one thing that is, if you look a little bit closer, I think it's interesting to see that the uh, Dutch government and Dutch organizations are almost entirely financing the round table on responsible soy, and that with this money they are financing outreach activities in producing countries like Argentina, and there the RTRS representatives are saying to soy producers, listen, soy has a very bad name in Europe. There's a lot of disinformation about deforestation and chased away communities. And therefore you should join the RTRS because your name will improve. So they're actually undermining the uh, distribution of information that NGOs here in the Netherlands are, are doing about the impacts of soy uh, and, uh, and saying that uh, the RTRS will make the image of these soy farmers better. And exactly in these areas, soy expansion is causing deforestation and uh, the chasing away of indigenous communities, like in the regions of Salta in, in northwest Argentina. So I think uh, that's an, an, an important thing to look at what is the RTRS doing in practice. And I think it is rather legitimizing and fostering the expansion of soy rather than uh, really addressing the problems. Okay, thank that's you. That's what I would like to add.